folks and welcome to another episode of MDI TV brought to you by Paulie Creative. Uh, today I'll be talking about social sharing and SEO. A conversation that I had with one of my uh, followers on Twitter about the impact of social networking sites and how it impacts search engine optimization and, and ranking of specific web pages. Um, so really what Google is looking at is, is no direct um, links from social network sites, but it's looking more for signals. And I'll kind of go through some of those signals that uh, it's particularly taken into consideration when it comes to ranking particular websites or web pages. And I'd just like to highlight November, it's the last day today, so we're still all doing our moustaches. Um, if you've got any donations, large or small, please do head over to uh, the URL here. Um, any donations are most helpful. So, okay, social sharing and SEO, social signals. What signals uh, are Google or any search engine looking for when it comes to ranking web pages? As I said before in any, any other episode about SEO, on-page SEO is very important, so making sure that your page titles, descriptions, internal linking is all still relevant. Um, so you know, this is kind of goes hand in hand with stuff that goes on on-page on optimization. So is this a brand with social authority? Um, a quick way of finding out um, your social authority score is you can use various tools, but one I've kind of used as a quick and easy way is just to basically go to your Twitter page, and if you've got your if you've got the Google toolbar installed, you'll see a PageRank score. I'm not really a fan of PageRank, but it's a quick and easy way of understanding how authoritative your Twitter page is or your Facebook page is. You'll see a little PR score, and it's a score out of ten. Look at your Twitter page. A poorly creative Twitter page has a score of five out of uh, five out of ten. Mashable has a, if you're familiar with Mashable as a news source, um, has a PR score of 7 out of 10. So you can kind of gauge how popular or how authoritative your Twitter or Facebook page or your LinkedIn page is. And one of the aspects is trying to build the authority of your Twitter and Facebook page by getting other people, uh, other bloggers, other businesses, other people to link back to your Twitter page. How many times, and we're drilling now down into specific content, so how many times has this page been shared or liked or been put uh, a link onto Twitter, retweeted and then shared amongst other networks? So really what we're looking at here is, is quantities, and, and you're giving Google a signal. So you've got a page, um, how many times have it been shared? So you might you know, have this particular page, uh, whether it's a blog post, a video, or a technical article, or a news, uh, news press release. If it's been shared on Twitter over 100 times, and it's been shared on LinkedIn over 50 times, you've already given Google a signal there to say, hey, this particular content was shared over 150 times on various um, social network and such, therefore this content must be relevant, it must contain quality uh, information for it to have been shared by other people. Um, so it's important, you know, if you've not got social sharing buttons on your website, I recommend having some social sharing buttons on your website as soon as possible to give Google that additional signal to say, hey, people are sharing this. This, this particular content is quality content because it's been shared X amount of times on social networking sites. And it's difficult to gain this particular aspect because what we're looking for is unique shares, not you know, one person sharing the same article 50 times, we're looking at um, individual people sharing that page. So it's important to have those social networking, uh, social sharing buttons on your website. The third factor is, you know, are these socially active users authoritative? Um, what we're saying here is, okay, it's been shared X number of times. Well, this person here, who shared the article, who was also connected with other people that shared the article, actually has lots and lots of different followers and they're all authoritative in their own right. Some of them may be news feeds, some of them may be journalists, who also are being followed by a lot more uh, people or businesses. And so what's happened is this person has built up their own authoritative score. So when they've shared your web page, they've basically put that web page in front of um, that many people, so it's, it's increasing the reach as we say. But it's 
important to make sure that these uh, followers of them are what's on to. And ultimately, it comes down to individual page authority. Um, it's building links uh, to that particular page. So the previous episode of MDI TV where I've talked about link building and looking at some of the metrics, you know, building up the page authority of that, score, uh, of that particular page, and it comes down to link quality. It's link building, um, and it's also the quality of those links. So I'm going to quickly give you an example, and that example basically is, I'll just take this away. Okay, so we have a particular piece of content, and whether that content is a web page, or whether it's a video, or whether it's um, a technical article, news release, uh, you'll have your social sharing buttons, and at the moment you've got, say, three links pointed to your page. So what happens is somebody with a bit, with 3,000 followers comes to your site and says, hey, this particular website or web page, the content on this web page was excellent, so I'm going to share it with my 3,000 followers on Twitter. So this page has been put in front of 3,000 followers, and then their followers go, hey, I found this really good as well, so I'm going to share it to my own network. And it just so happens that one of these, or maybe five of them, or ten of them, have their own blogs. And they decide to link directly to your content. So all you, what you've done there is you've allowed someone to share your content with their networks, who have then shared their networks, and you might get occasionally you know, somebody else that might link to them. And what you're doing is you're growing the number of links to your particular web page. Last year, um, we did an analysis of uh, the top 15 companies, uh, construction companies, um, majority of all of them are contractors. Um, that particular one post has a page authority score, which is the same as our whole site put together. Um, so it just goes to show that one particular post can have as much strength uh, within search engines uh, as your whole site put to, your whole website put together. And that one particular post has increased um, the value of our website, the authority of our website. It's accumulated lots of links from various different bloggers all over the world who have uh, good authoritative blogs of their own um, and to acquire those links. So it's another technique uh, or another way of building links to your website. Hope that makes sense um, in terms of building links uh, through social sites and also the signals that search engines use uh, as a way of kind of bringing relevant web pages and ranking web pages within uh, search engines. If you've got any questions, please do tweet us, let me know, um, or leave a comment on our blog or our YouTube page. Uh, I'll, be, you know, I'll be contacting you and replying to any of those questions. So, until next time, thanks again for joining us.